I'm Robert Elliott, and I'm going to talk about uh, myself and how I came to EFT. Um, I was trained as a clinical psychologist in the United States, um, where I worked almost for almost 30 years. And during that time, um, and in my training before that, um, I learned many different approaches to therapy. Uh, I was trained originally by a student of Carl Rogers in person-centered therapy, and then I had uh, training in family systemic therapy, in psychodynamic therapy, in uh, behavior therapy, before, the, before there was such a thing as cognitive behavior therapy. And um, uh, about 1985, I was working in, I was on sabbatical in the UK, and um, I was doing a presentation on my research, and um, I presented some data, and an old analyst challenged me um, by making a psychodynamic interpretation of some of my client's data. My client was reporting on a dream interpretation and her experiences of this dream interpretation. And the analyst came up with some psychodynamic interpretation of this, this dream the client had had. And um, I said, well, we don't do that in our research. We, don't inter we, we take the client's, what the client says to us at face value. And the analyst said, well, um, you don't do that in your practice. You, you, there you are interpreting your client's dream, right? So why not interpret their... And I said, well, that we, I, was, I was scandalized by that. I, and, he, and I said, no, we just don't do that. He said, well, aren't you being inconsistent? And I said, yes, I am being inconsistent. And um, I thought about that. I went back to the United States and I said, you know, my, the, my use of psychodynamic interpretation is not consistent with my practice. By this time, I'd tried behavior therapy. It didn't work for me and my clients. Um, and um, Laura Rice and Les Greenberg were wanting to begin work on developing an integrative humanistic therapy that pulled together person-centered and gestalt therapy, maybe with some existential things. And um, <clears throat> I said, you know, um, I want to focus on my person-centered experiential roots as a therapist. I want to give up psychodynamically interpreting my clients and I want to like kind of integrate myself better because uh, I'd been working as an eclectic therapist. And um, so <clears throat> we agreed to work together. We started developing this therapy. Um, I said to Laura Rice, um, I'm, I'm attached to my interpretations because uh, growing up in my family, I was considered to be clever, and uh, my parents loved it when I came up with clever interpretations of things. So I'm very attached to interpreting my clients, and I want to stop doing that. And Laura said to me, uh, I'll never forget this, she said, I'll tell you what I do. I mean, she was trained by Carl Rogers, and so it was, you know, well, I'll tell you what I do um, when I want to interpret my client. Uh, I say to myself, no matter how clever your interpretation is, what your client is going to come up with uh, through the therapeutic process of figuring out for themselves is always going to be different and better than whatever you've got. And, um, and you know what? That's true. And I said, you know, that actually fits my experience of when I interpret my clients. Um, if it works at best, uh, it's not the thing I came up with. It's originally it's whatever the client did with what I came up with. So I let go of my urge to interpret, um, and uh, we began developing this therapy. Uh, uh, I was the test subject. Basically, it, my team at the University of Toledo in Ohio were doing a research study. This is the first study on EFT. Uh, it was started in 1985. We were doing a study of, de of depression. So we were developing this therapy this integrated humanistic experiential therapy for depression. Um, and uh, my students and I would uh, see these depressed clients and then I'd take my recordings up to Toronto and I'd get supervision from Laura and Les and we'd use that to develop the therapy. Um, now the therapy fits, my, fits who I am very well. Um, not the interpretation, not the not interpretation part, but the uh, because it emphasizes getting deeply inside the client's experience, but also being quite active and adventurous and curious. Um, 
So these qualities for me are part of my background, um, in my family, the sort of our adventurous nature, our curiosity, uh, the fact that we like to sort of actively engage with things. We're not passive observers. And so all of this came together for me and really made EFT a really good fit for me. Uh, and so uh, over a period of about five or seven years, working with Laura and Les, um, uh, we together developed the, the, the model that became emotion-focused therapy.